Grin's product lineup has two small geared hub motors in it, the Bafang G31 series and the Shengyi SX series. Now the Bafang motors we've carried now for a number of years and we were initially quite enamored with this little motor for all of the sort of cutting edge features it had in its day from helical cut gears to a really small diameter and a high gear ratio. But last year we brought in a slightly larger and more capable motor with this Shengyi hub because we found people were pushing the limitations and burning up their system with this little motor much as they loved it. So in this video we're going to compare and contrast the differences between these two hubs and highlight where they really shine and help you decide which is the most appropriate choice for your conversion. So first off the similarities. Now both of these motors are geared motors that freewheel. So that means when you're riding the bike without using the motor, the motor causes no drag on the wheel but it also means that they can't do regenerative braking. Both of them have helical cut gears. Now one of the common complaints with geared motors is the audible noise or buzz that they make as a result of the gear engagement. When the gears are cut at a tapered angle, that noise is reduced quite a bit and it really changes the experience when riding with one of these motors. Both of these motors are also really well serviceable. Now this is an important consideration for us because we like to give a long-term warranty and a long-term beyond warranty after service repair capabilities. Some small geared motors like this are assembled with threaded together components that are bound with Loctite and extremely difficult to remove. Both of these by contrast have a single side cover that unbolts, they have nice o-ring seals on all the parts so you can disassemble and reassemble without losing the water tightness and they all have readily accessible gears and components inside should anything need replacement. From a bike compatibility perspective, both of these have standard axle OLDs. They both have a six bolt mount for an ISO disc rotor with proper disc rotor alignment for painless installation on bicycles with disc brakes. And the rear versions in each of these series use the modern cassette free hub rather than a screw on freewheel, making them readily compatible with eight, nine, 10 speed derailleur bike systems. As a final point of similarity, both of these motors were customized for Grin to have a combined temperature and speed signal in the waterproof Z910 connector. That allows for thermal rollback to kick in automatically before the motors get damaged from overheating when you push their power limits. And now for the differences. The most obvious one, of course, being the size and weight. The Bafang motor series here is smaller in diameter and lighter, as you'd expect from a lower power motor system. Uh, it's five and a quarter inches diameter versus six inch for the SX motors. And the weight here is only five pounds on the front hub versus seven pounds for the Shengi SX. Uh, the rear versions of both of these are about a half pound heavier because of the weight of the cassette. So one area where they really differentiate themselves is the internal construction. And you'll see this when you open it up. The Shengi SX motors have a very conventional geared motor design where there's an outrunner motor with a single stage planetary gear from the motor to the motor shell. Now these gears are helical cut, but it looks very much like many of the other geared motors you might disassemble. And it has a 4.8 to one gear reduction from the motor to the shell. The Fang G31 series takes a much more unique approach to geared motor design and it runs with an in-runner motor. So the inside of the motor is spinning and the shell is stationary. In-runner motors don't have as much of a torque density as an outrunner motor, and so to compensate for that, Bafang has gone with a double-stage planetary gear that gives an a quite impressive 11 to 1 gear reduction ratio. Noise levels. Now I mentioned these are both helical motors so that they run much quieter than your conventional straight cut hub, but the Bafang motor has a slight edge on this over the Shengyi. We're not totally sure why this difference is, but you still hear some buzzing sound coming from this XX motor, whereas the Bafang G310, G311s run with a field-oriented controller are just totally silent. Now let's compare the robustness of these two designs. We've had quite a few years running these Bafang motors and I've had a lot of customers push them beyond the failure point. Uh, it's possible when running at high RPMs for the magnets to come loose and it's possible to run at a phase current that puts so much torque that the gears strip. If you want to stay well within those boundaries, you need to limit the amperage flowing to this motor to keep within the 30 newton meter specifications that Bafang gives to hub. The Shengyi SX motor, on the other hand, has a thicker and stronger gear structure, and the in outrunner motor design is intrinsically free from any concerns of magnet adhesives. So we've yet to have someone strip the gears or cause other failures with the Shengyi motors when run with our base runner motor controller at the maximum current of 55 phase amps. Now related to that is the power capability of the motor. Now nominally, Bafang calls this a 250 watt motor, and by whatever metric you would use to evaluate that, you might call the Shengyi SX motors as 350 watt devices. So, you know, roughly 50% more power capable. 
In real world terms, of course, you can get quite higher power levels than what the rating is for, especially at higher RPMs. And on the ground, you can realistically get 500 to 750 watts continuous from the Bifang motor at high speeds, whereas the Shengyi SX motor can easily push 750 to 1000 watts at higher travel speeds. Going slowly up a hill, that power level, of course, rolls back. And axle hardware. So the last real point of divergence between these two systems is how they've designed and engineered the axle that fits into the bike dropout. Now the Shengyi motor has a very conventional axle, 12 millimeter threads with 10 millimeter flats on the sides and a cable that exits the end of the axle itself. Now we're not normally a fan of end cable exits because it makes the wire vulnerable to damage if the bike falls over, or gets in an accident, or it just has a rough installation beside adjacent bikes in a bike rack. But Shengyi at least includes quite a nice rubber protective cap that can fit over the end of the axle and provide the necessary protection for the cable from damage that way. Um, another reason we don't normally like end cable exits is that it means all of the hardware has to slide over the connector. But because these motors use the small Z910 plug, you can actually move the nuts, the washers, and the torque arms over the cable without having to cut off and re-solder the connector. So that's not really an issue. Now one benefit of this axle design is that it allows the use of external torque arms. The axle flats provide something to bite onto on the outside of the dropout, so you can mount one or two torque arms with this hub if you're concerned about the strength of your bike dropouts able to withstand the spin-out force. And given the additional torque capabilities of this motor, torque arms are really highly recommended. The Fang G31 motors have a more unique approach to their axle. It's actually a totally round axle with no flats on it, and all of the torque of the motor is transmitted through anti-rotation tabbed washers that fit inside the dropout. These tabbed washers do provide adequate spin-out strength up to 30 or 40 newton meters, but our experience shows that once you hit 45 to 50 newton meters, you risk actually spreading open the dropouts on the bike frame. And because the axles are round, there's no provision to put a torque arm outside the dropout as you can with the Shengyi motors. And that means that you really are limited by the strengths of the dropout on your bike for how much torque you can put through this style of motor. So in summary, both of these are great little geared hub motor packages for e-bike conversions. If you're looking for the smallest and most discreet motor setup, it's hard to beat the Bafang G310, G311s, as long as you stay within the power and torque capabilities of this small form factor motor. If you do think you're gonna need a little bit more hill climbing power, towing capabilities, or cargo hauling needs, the Shengyi SX is a real nice step up, maintaining a lot of the benefits of the G310 motor, just with a little more power weight and size. It's not in the same league as an Easy or a GMAC motor, but it gets you most of the way there without the significant cost increases of those higher power geared motor systems.